I think it was a demanding game, but probably the pleasing thing was the way the guys did finish the game. They, uh, they were going as strong as they were at the, at the finish as they were at the start, so that was a pleasing thing, and I think the players will take a lot of confidence out of that. Yeah, come off, um, he, he got a caught calf a couple of weeks ago and played with it, and then uh, that sort of developed into a little strain. So he's missed the last week with a strained calf, and he won't play this week and maybe not the next, so he's probably about two weeks away from resuming. Yeah, yeah, Richard's going well. He, he obviously had a bad elbow injury. He's been staying against Essendon a fair while back. Um, but he's back training. He's, uh, he won't play this week, but he's a fair chance to play the week after. So fingers crossed he'll be available in a week's time. No, nah, he's pretty resilient, Rory. He's, uh, he's had a, taken a bit of punishment this year, but he keeps coming up. He's played every game and, uh, and, and just keeps running up week in, week out. He, did, he obviously got the bad knock against, um, against Richmond up in Cairns, but he recovered from that. And then this week he got a, quite a bad ankle sprain. But he played the game out. Uh, he a bit sore this morning and he was a bit sore early in the week, but with good treatment and, um, and looking after himself, we expect him to be okay for this week. Yeah, really, really unfortunate news for, for Horse in that he, uh, uh, about a week ago, he, he had a, an incident in the reserves game where he, um, he ruptured his ACL and uh, that's going to need a full knee reconstruction and that's going to happen tomorrow. So uh, bad news for Horse, but uh, knowing what he's like, he'll come back bigger and better than ever and put a heap of training in as he always does.